All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name of Racha Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And also from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And let me just. Uh, get right to the video here not sure what i'm gonna name the title all right little willing it'll come to me here but let me start the book of baruch chapter 4 and verse 24 it says it says like as now the neighbors of zion have seen your captivity so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting you see, Yahweh Shai, he's coming back with great glory, man. Great glory uh, and and uh, great power. All right. And let me actually get this precept here. Uh, Revelation 6. And uh, verse, I start at the top, it says, and I, saw the, and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer all right you know so yahweh shah is coming with that pure power man okay he's coming with pure pure glory man all right so I just wanted to grab that real quick because our Lord, you know, let me, actually, let me get Isaiah as well. Isaiah 47 and uh, verse three says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man because the Lord is coming back with great uh, glory and great power. All right, and, and uh, he's coming back with that uh, with that great brightness because he's gonna have that spiritual power. This is uh, Baruch four and twenty four again. It says, "Like as now the neighbors of Zion has seen your captivity, uh, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting." My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. All right, so we have to suffer in this thing, man. Okay, and it says suffer patiently, man. Okay, so 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 endure suffering, man. Let me see. I know there's a scripture that says endure like suffer. God, this is the one I want. Hebrews 12 and verse 7 it says, If ye endure chastening, the most high dealing with you as with sons, for what son is is he whom the father chasteneth him not? Okay. So let me go back to Baruch 4 and 25. It says, My children, suffer patiently. Okay, so endure the chastening endure the wrath that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh has put on us and is still putting on us, man. All right, he's still 
uh, purifying us. He's still uh, letting us go through these trials and tribulations, man. My children suffer patiently the wrath, all right, that wrath, that anger that has come upon you from the Most High. All right, we're in captivity now. All right, and then we jump up to Baruch 4 and 6. Here it says, you are sold to the nations. All right, we will hand it over to captivity to the other nations. It says, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. All right, so we move Yahweh to anger. We pissed them off. All right, so now all these curses are upon us. All right, you know, we didn't, if we were to take heed to Yahweh Shai, the Lord said in Deuteronomy 28 that all these blessings shall come upon us. But now that we've, uh, didn't take he now all these curses has come upon us and behold we are yet this day in our captivity as it says in Baruch 3 and 8 it says uh, Baruch 4 and 25 my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high for thine enemy have persecuted thee but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread a upon his neck okay and let me actually go to the one i was going to pull here romans 9 and verse 22 says what if the mosiah willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and he and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. You see? So uh, these other nations are fitted to destruction, man. Uh, let me jump up 21. Romans 9 and 21 says, Have not the powder, the potter power over the clay? Okay, the potter, the one that's making the clay, he has power over the clay. And it says, Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Okay, so these other nations are vessels of dishonor. Okay, and they're and Esau Edom, he's fitted to destruction, man. You see? So let me go back down to Baruch four and twenty five one more time. It says, My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high. For thine enemy, okay, these so-called white people, these other nations, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. But shortly, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Okay, so just a little, just a little while longer, man. All right. But now is our salvation nearer than we will, than we, we uh, believe, man. Our salvation is nigh. Okay. I'm uh, trying to see, think of that one scripture. Um, see, uh, fall enemy. Come on, this is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 25, verse 7 says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Okay, so we're trying to see the fall of our enemies, man. Okay, so we got to uh, we gotta suffer patiently, man, because the Lord is soon finna flip the script, man. Okay, it may seem like... Uh, and it's taking forever, you know, though it tarry, wait for it, man. Be patient. All right. It's because it, it shall surely come. It will not tarry. The Lord is not going to uh, suffer us to be in captivity forever, man. We just have to endure. It says, verse Baruch, Baruch 4 and 26, my delicate ones, the uh, the children of Israel, main, mainly the elect, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Okay, so we were taken captive. Okay. Uh, let me actually 
go to another precept here. Isaiah 4 and 1, 14 and 1. It says, For Yahweh by Shem Shai will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, the Israelite foreigners. Okay? It says, And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right? And technically, you know, we're, we were once foreigners, man. Okay? But now we're, uh, cl uh, but now we're uh, coming back into our true heritage. Okay? And verse 2, it says, this is the point. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. So the children of Israel, the elect is going to, we're going to uh, put our enemies into captivity. It says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, man. Okay, so we're going to rule over our oppressors. The Lord is going to flip the script. Okay, going back to Baruch 4 and 26, it says, My delicate ones have gone rough ways, and they were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children. Okay, we have this comfort through the scriptures, man. The Holy Spirit is that comfort. Okay, be of good comfort, my children. And cry unto the Most High. So the Lord wants us to cry unto him, man. That's why the scripture says in Ezekiel 9 and 4, mark those that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Mark those, man. Okay? That uh, that uh, mark of Egyptian, man. The Tawa. Mark those that sigh and that cry. Okay? And what it says, the souls of the just complain continually. Okay? What is also... Uh, the Lord gives us, uh, uh, the Lord said, uh, give us no rest. Give him no rest. Is that Isaiah 52? Um, huh, what is it? Isaiah, was it 55? I always get the scripture mixed up. Uh, give no rest. Isaiah. Come on, Isaiah 62 and verse 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. All right, the watchmen today are the prophets, man. The 144,000 prophets, all right, that I, that's, uh, that's, that's chanting down Babylon, man, on, on the highways and the byways, man. As commanded, it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. All right, so we're watching these prophecies. All right, and we're, and we're forewarning the people to uh, come back and serve the Lord because destruction is coming. Nuclear missiles is coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. Okay, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. All right, so we're watching these prophecies, man. All right, we're watching for the signs. It says, O Jerusalem, which shall never, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So the, the prophets are going to be uh, uh, teaching day in and out, man. It says, shall never hold their peace day nor night. That's why you see these videos popping every day, man. We're not holding our peace, man. It says, ye that make mention of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. So we're not we're not taking no breaks, man. All right. We ain't getting tired of serving the Lord, man. We're going to keep chanting down this place as is as is commanded. OK, Baruch 4 and 27 says, be of good comfort. Oh, my children, and cry unto the Most High. The Lord wants us to cry unto him day in and out. 
It says, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. It says, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So the Lord is going to remember us, man. Okay? That's what the Lord is doing. The Lord, in the land of our captivities, we are all right, we, we are coming back into our heritage, man. Okay? Because the Lord is hearing our sighs and our cries, man. All right? And the elect was predestined to wake up regardless. Let me get this. Hosea 1 and 10 says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand in the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. And that's being said, you know, through the, through the prophets, man. All right. Starting with the uh, with Apostle Tahar, all right. Also, uh, Abba Bibbins, King Masha. Okay, the list goes down all the way to Apostle Tahar today. All right, we know who we are. All right, by via the prophets, man. All right, via the prophets and via Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says, "Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel, northern and southern kingdom, be gathered together." Children of, Judah, children of Judah representing the southern and the children of Israel representing the northern shall be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. Yahweh Shai. It says, and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel. All right. So we we, we know who our, who our uh, Lord is, man. All right. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is our Lord. So we're coming back. Uh. We're coming back into our true heritage. We're stepping into our true heritage, man. Okay, while two thirds of our people are 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 asleep, you know, the uh, the elect is being awoke. And if it be the Lord's will, I will just close with this. This is Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It says, and the rest were blinded. These rest of these people are blind to what's going on. All right. They are stuck, you know, in that docile spirit, man. They are spiritually dead. Okay. So the Lord wants us to continue to cry unto him, man. All right. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson I say Shalom and the Baba Ball. Shalom.